Welcome, I'm Adrian Mist and today we're gonna talk about one exercise that will help you not only to warm up your body before practice but also to develop your coordination, speed and endurance. I came up with the idea of such an exercise about five years ago. I was thinking about an exercise that will help me to achieve multiple things at the same time. First of all, I need to stretch my muscles, prepare my whole body for continuous work. Second, I wanted to save time as much as possible. And third, I wanted to warm up not only my body but also my mind so I could be concentrated on my practice. And when the idea came to me, after I started practicing this exercise, I noticed that I also get some other positive effects uh, along the way, such as developing hand and feet coordination, working on my endurance and speed. Also, it helped me to develop my control and balance. Since I wanted to save my time, I decided that I have to work on my hand and feet at the same time. So my exercise consists of two lines of notes one for hands and second for feet. Let's take a look at the exercise. Basically, to play this exercise you should do the next. Your hands are playing paradiddle and your feet are playing straight singles. That's it. But there is some difference in subdivisions. This exercise uh, looks like a chart where each section contains different subdivisions different combinations of subdivisions. That's why I called it a matrix exercise. So first section contains eighth note subdivisions, both in hands and in feet. But you should notice the difference in sticking. Hands are playing paradiddle and feet are playing straight singles. You should repeat this pattern for a desirable number of bars. It may be four, 8, 16, 32, as you wish. It depends on the tempo and what are you trying to achieve. After playing this exercise for a number of bars, we move to another section where we switch subdivisions to 16th but only in hands. Our feet are still playing singles in 8. You play this section for the same number of bars, then we move to the third section. In the third section, we increase our subdivisions in feet to 16th and we are playing in unison as in first section, but this time it's not eighths, it's sixteenth notes. You play this section for a number of times again and move to the fourth section. And in this section, as you may already guess, we change subdivisions again, but only in our hands to eighth notes. We play it for a number of bars and we again switch subdivisions in our feet to eighth notes and we are back where we started. Let's take a look again at this exercise and I will tell you about positive side effects of this exercise. In first section our hands and feet have to play in unison and in this case we work on our control and precision. In second section where our hands are playing 16th notes and where our feet are playing 8th we meet some coordination challenges. In third section where our hands and feet are playing 16th notes. We are working again on our precision, but also on our speed. And in the fourth section we are working on our balance. Because you may notice that it's hard to keep uh, balance while your feet are playing 16th notes and your hands are playing 8th. So now let me show you how to perform this exercise on a drum kit.
So now let me give you a couple of advices how to practice this exercise. I usually start practicing this exercise for warm-up at 60 BPM and I use medium stick height to let my body warm up a little bit and to let my muscles stretch. Also when you try to count at slower tempos uh, it's easier to lose your count, so your mind has to be really concentrated. If you experience some troubles, you may set your metronome to a slower tempo, for example 40 BPM. So, after I played it for a couple of circles, I usually set my metronome to 120 BPM. And also I increase the number of bars that I play twice. When you play this exercise at 60 BPM, you should try to make your strokes dynamically even and with the same stick height. But when you play at 120 BPM, you may start to accent quarter notes, because this way it will be easier to perform paradiddles. Then, if I want to work on my speed and endurance, I may bring up the tempo up to, for example, 150 BPM. This exercise is designed for drummers who are closer to intermediate level. But if you are a beginner drummer, I think you can give it a shot and try to practice it, but just at slower tempos like 40 or 50 BPM. Basically, you can take this matrix and put there any exercises that you like. I chose paradiddles and singles, just because they are really simple and easy to perform and very common. Also, I like to play from time to time with the content of this exercise and I, for example, may uh, play every quarter note as a rim shot or I can change subdivisions to triplets and sextuplets and play, for example, double paradiddle. And I also have an advanced version of this exercise. If you want me to make a video about it, just write in the comments. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you liked it. I hope you find it useful and if it's so, you may press like, subscribe and share this video. I will be grateful for that. Goodbye.